All right, let's focus on installing JBoss tools with the new hybrid Cordova tooling right into base Eclipse. So here's our normal everyday Eclipse. Uh, we'll look at about Eclipse, you can see right here. Kepler Surface Release 1. So I'm gonna go to the Help Eclipse Marketplace and let that download. I'm gonna type in the word JBoss here and I'm going to just select JBoss Tools instead of JBoss Developer Studio. So you can install JBoss Tools right here, hit finish, uh, install. You can see all these items are checked. I'm gonna leave them all checked uh, just to get everything, to make sure I have everything, confirm. And then it's gonna go through the process of calculating dependencies, give me the EULA prompt, you can see right here, and finish. You'll be prompted with a security warning about unsigned content, just hit okay. And then once everything is installed, you'll be prompted to restart Eclipse. Hit yes. Once Eclipse restarts, you'll be prompted to send anonymous usage statistics back to us here at JBoss Tools team. Hit yes, please. And then you can drop into the workbench. And the first thing you'll see that's new here is JBoss Central. And of course, now we've converted this Java or this Eclipse environment to a full Java E environment also. So if you actually drill down on the uh, other and go to the JBoss perspective right here and now you say file new you will see all the Java E capabilities as well as the HTML5 bridge faces and spring capabilities that we brought to bear within Eclipse itself. What you might be looking for though is the hybrid tools for Cordova or PhoneGap based development. Click on software update tab and you'll see it right here. You can check that box and hit install. Select next and next. Agree to the terms and conditions and finish. Agree to the security warning, hit OK. And then you'll need to restart Eclipse to see the changes. Okay, now that Eclipse is restarted, I have JBoss Central up in front of me. I've installed the hybrid Cordova tooling. The next thing you'll want to do is come over here and hit Control N or Command N, depending on what uh, environment you're running, and then type hybrid there. And you get the hybrid mobile Cordova application project, and you'll hit next. And you can give this a name for, I call it Mybrid app. App, and give it a uh, typical package name you see in Java. Hybrid in this case being a funny way to say hybrid. Once you hit finish, it creates default application uh, for you. You double click on index.html and you can see that right here. That's what it looks like. And then you can right click on it and say run with Cordova Sim. And that's what the default application looks like. I'm gonna move it around a little bit so it's easier to see a few things. And then I also wanna come over here and uh, to the servers tab. No servers are available. Click the link to create a new server. I'm gonna come up here and type in live and then go to the live reload server and hit finish. I'm gonna hit start. and I'm going to enable Live Reload. All right, now let's see how this works out. If I come here now and make a change, you can see it updates automatically. So there's the JBoss two exclamation points. So if I come in here and really hack it up a notch, boom, boom, and that should make it blank, and I'm gonna go edit the index.js so it does not do this report anymore. But now I can come in here and start easily using the jQuery mobile palette to start adding pages on the Acme Corp page. No footer, finish. And then if I want to start adding form fields here, I could. So maybe I want the person's name and I want the person's um, birth date as an example. And you can see here's the HTML5 input types. So like date, tell, email. I'll take date here and that'll give me the appropriate keyboard and when it's on the on the device. 
I'll remove that and hit save. You can see it's loading up right there. Okay, so save triggers the live reload, automatically refreshes, and of course you can come in here and rotate it left. You can come in here and say I want a different skin on it, like maybe I want to see what this looks like more on a Samsung device. Rotate right, take a screenshot, and you can also uh, open up the you know, uh, Firebug Lite in case you have some console.logs or something in your code, you can see those here also. Okay. And then if you have any specific Cordova uh, functionality, you can use the accelerometer or you can use the um, uh, you know, geolocation changes also. So that's your Ripple environment integrated with our Cordova simulator here. And that's how you launch it from Eclipse. You basically come over and say run with Cordova Sim. And then once you feel like you have your project the way you want it, you can also say run on iOS simulator if you're on a Mac like I am now. That'll produce the Xcode project you can see it going through its process of generating an Xcode project and then it'll literally real run the IO simulator if you have Xcode on your machine so there there it is okay and there's the Xcode based project and then the last thing you might look at is export here so export and then I'll click under mobile and you can say export native platform project and hit next and maybe I want to generate the Xcode project and let me see, where do I want to put these things? Uh, uh, we'll just come over here, hit new folder, uh, exports, yeah, create, open, finish. And once that goes through the process, if I go to Finder, we're getting started. Boom exports there it is and here's the iOS project and then I can double click on the Xcode project and that'll open up Xcode for me so this would allow me to then finish this application off and then actually push it out to the App Store and also if I want to run it on an actual device I could do that here by plugging in my device iOS Dev Center. Let me sign in. Go to Certificates, Identifiers, and Profiles. Identifiers. App IDs. Hit plus. Okay. This is the MyBrit app. An explicit app ID. I'll go with the bundle ID here, which I'll copy at Xcode. All right, just to make it, make sure I got it right, and hit continue, and submit. Then I'm going to go to provisioning profiles, hit plus, iOS app development, continue. Where is the MyBrit app one? Continue. Select the certificate. And we're going to go with the Burr's iPhone. I'm going to call this Profile MyBrid App iPhone Generate. When that's done, you download the profile. You can see here in Chrome, it downloaded. I'll click on it. Okay, and that's going to load it up. And if you look back at your organizer, you can see provisioning profiles here, and you can see the MyBird one. Okay, and now if I go over here, I can run this on Burr's iPhone.
So let me do that real quick. Once I got my camera plugged in, you can see there's the MyBrit app on the iPhone. Tap that Cordova app and there it is. So that's how it, it, that's what it takes to deploy it to the actual iPhone in our real device, iPod Touch, iPad, iPhone. Go to that provisioning profile and that's set up at apple.com slash developer.